Welcome to another edition of Inside the Dugout with head coach Terry Rooney. I'm Kaylee Budnick. You started the season strong. You got three wins. University of Long Island, great wins. First game was 13-7. to You had the sixth biggest crowd in UCF history, over 2,000 fans. Tell me your thoughts on the game. Well, obviously it was an exciting opening night. Uh, so finally unveiled the stadium renovations. Uh, over 2,000 people here, so it was, a, it was a great evening. It was one of those, when opening night is one of those days you anticipate, you know, from uh, all the way through the entire season to finally get here. It was a great night. Uh, as far as the game goes, we, we played okay, actually. Fundamentally, we didn't play tremendous, but uh, what I was really proud of our guys is that we talk a lot about winning the last three and our kids did that. It was 7-7 going into the seventh inning, and our kids hung in there with their poise and confidence and did a good job against a very good Long Island team. And I actually thought on the weekend we played particularly well on Saturday on a doubleheader uh, to be able to go out there and play 18 innings, and we played better on Saturday than we did on Friday, which is a big thing you look from a coaching standpoint to continue to get better you know, every week, every month. And I thought that was a great challenge, especially opening weekend under the conditions weather-wise. So to be able to go out there and put ourselves in position to win the series and then win, eventually win all three games uh, is a tough thing to do in college baseball. So overall, after the first three games of the season, I was pleased. You have a really strong offense. You went 19 walks in your first game, which is a UCF record. Tell me about your offense. Well, offense really good. I mean, there's no question. We, we feel like we have one of the best offenses in the country. And statistically speaking, with the returning players that we have from last year, we do. Um, I feel very good about it. Opening night, I think any coach in the country will tell you, you got to kind of almost throw that one to the side because there's so many emotions and so many different things going on. But I felt like offensively we had a pretty good weekend. And, again, I would categorize our offense as much better in games two and three than it was on the first on game one, although we scored a lot of runs that night. We didn't do a tremendous job of situationally hitting, etc., and we kept getting better and better. And I thought our offense did a great job in games two and three. And, you know, whether it's man on third base, less than two outs, driving them in, moving them over, etc. So offensively, we've got some, some, great, some great guys in there, different dynamics. You know, obviously we've got some power in the middle. We've got speed at the top and the bottom. And as long as we continue to be aggressive offensively, that's the thing we're looking for most. You talk about being fundamentally sound, you know, throughout the games, and you definitely improved from game one to game two to game three. How do you improve that and work on that? I think one, I think part of it's experience of just playing. You know, you can simulate it as much as you want in a practice environment, but you got to go out and do it. And uh, obviously for us, you know, to go out and get, I think the more we play, the more we'll continue to get comfortable. But I feel very good about, look, for really fundamentally speaking, we, we did okay. You know, when you talk about fundamentals, it's really the basics, as any coach will tell you. Offensively, you want to execute and do situational hitting. Uh, defensively, you want to play error-free. Uh, and then obviously on the mound, you don't want to walk guys. You want to attack the strike. So those are kind of the hallmarks, we hope, of our team. Um, and, and I feel like we got better as it went on. We need to continue to get better. I mean, we've got a long way to go. It's uh, three games of 56 during the regular season, but the most important thing I'm looking for is that each week we get better. I agree. We saw the debut of Chris Matulis, you know, much anticipated. We also saw some freshmen from the bullpen. Tell me about those players. I'll tell you, you know, when you when you go into a weekend series, especially early, you try to map it out now, as a coach. You try to map it out in, you, in the hopes of the guys you need to get pitched in the situations that you can potentially put them in. And to be honest with you, it worked out almost perfect this weekend. It's not going to happen like that all the time. I know that, believe me, but it really did. You know, we're hoping to get five to six innings out of our starting pitchers and obviously at the back end of our bullpen between Jimmy Reed, Roman Madrid, and Joe Rogers to get all those guys in. Obviously our middle relievers and Brian Brown and Matt Collins and, as you said, uh, two freshmen and Garrett Ness and Eric Scoglin. I mean, both of those guys did a great job, and especially as you alluded to those two freshmen, to be able to go out there and put them in, uh, you know, Every opportunity is a pressure situation, obviously, when you're playing in a top 20 program in the country. But to get them out there in an environment, to start an inning clean, not in the middle of an inning, I thought those two guys did very, very well for us. They went out there and attacked the strike zone. Those guys are going to be big components for us and our pitching staff. And Chris Matulis, it was awesome to see him out there. You know, He has not been on the mound game-wise in two years. Obviously, he transferred from LSU, and uh, he did a great job. Chris deserves it. He's worked unbelievably hard. And Chris Joseph, our athletic trainer, deserves a lot of that credit, too, for getting him back and putting that position. So, you know, Chris uh, Chris did a great job for any situation. He goes six innings and one runs, one run, but especially to uh, have a two-year layoff, did a good job. Were there anything you really specifically liked or disliked about the series or any surprises you saw? Uh, not really any surprises, no. Um, you know, the, the one thing I really, as I know I said it before, but I want to make sure we got better on Saturday in games two and three than we were on Friday. I told our guys, you know, the expectations have to be at the highest level. I, I, I kid our players all the time, and they, they know this phrase that's ingrained in their mind. I says, look, the only time a coach ever has an issue with a player is if the coach's expectations at that moment are higher than his. 
And uh, sometimes when you say that, you know, they kind of look at you like you have three heads. <laughs> but then they get it. And I told them the reason I bring that up is because on Friday night after our first game, I says, look, we got the win, and I'm proud of you for that because you, you, we, we played well at the end of the game. And that's when it matters the most. We caught win the last three, win the last three. But we didn't play very well opening night. We really did. Just the game of baseball. We didn't play great. And I wanted to make sure that they understood that, that we got the victory, which is great, but we got to play better and be consumed in the process. And, uh, and those guys responded in games two and three. And that's a sign of a very mature, good team. Baseball America's top 25 rankings just released. We went from 21 to 19. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, it's great. It's great to be inside the top 20. You know, no question. Uh, you know, obviously, as any coach would tell you, at the end of the day, it's where you are at the end of the season. But but we're excited. I mean, it is what it is. We're excited to be inside the top 20. We've got a lot of work to do. Uh, but, uh, you know, the kids, as I said before, I think the kids deserve it. I, I do believe this is a top 20 program in the country. I feel like this team is, is certainly capable of some outstanding and special things this year. Uh, however, we've got to keep getting better. And that's really the mindset. Every day, we're not satisfied. We've got to keep getting better. In our schedule, there's no let-ups. And obviously, we've got a big week this week, going up to the number one team in the country at the University of Florida. Uh, and then this weekend, playing an ACC opponent at Boston College, who themselves are 3-0 and after three great wins. So we're playing two outstanding programs this week. Well, you just said it. You're taking on number one ranked University of Florida on the road Wednesday, and then coming back and playing Boston College. What's your plan of attack for them? Well, you know, obviously we got to play well. I mean, you know, the, the better the teams you play, you got to continue to play well and minimize your mistakes. We're going up to Florida, playing a great team. Obviously, they got uh, great players, a, a great coach and staff. I have a lot of respect for those guys. And uh, we're going to have to play our best to, to be in there. And obviously, as I alluded to, Boston College, you know, uh, they've got a great coach and Coach Gambino. Know him very well also. And uh, they've done a great job. I mean, for those guys to go down to that tournament and beat the teams that they did and go 3-0, and they've got an outstanding team. So I think from our standpoint, you know, we really just need to be focused on our team and getting better. And as long as we play fundamentally sound and show up every day ready to play, which we will, I can assure you of that, uh, that, that we'll, be, we'll be in good shape. But the thing I'm looking for most important, too, is uh, non on the field. I certainly hope that this weekend all the night fans will come out there. You know, we had great crowds uh, this weekend, and I hope they'll continue to see an outstanding Boston College series uh, beginning on Friday night at 630. Well, we wish you the best of luck, and stay tuned and come out this weekend against Boston College, another edition of Inside the Dugout.